In this problem, we're told a golf ball of mass 0 0.045 kilograms is hit off a tee at a speed of 45 meters per second. The golf club was in contact with a ball for 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. Find A, the impulse imparted to the golf ball, and B, the average force exerted on the ball by the golf club. And so let's go ahead and solve this problem. So in order to solve this, let's first just write down what we're given. So what are we told? So we're told the mass of the golf ball. And so I'm just going to write M equals 0 0.045 kg so we know the mass of the ball we also know the velocity right so we know the velocity is going to be 45 meters per second so we know that and then we also know the time it's going to be connected so the time is equal to 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds so let's go ahead and start with a first so a wants us to find the impulse imparted to the ball right so when they mean the impulse, essentially what they're asking for is the change in momentum. And so we know that momentum, right, P, is equal to mv. So momentum equals the mass times velocity. But they're talking about the change in momentum. That's what they want us to find. And so if we assume that the mass uh, we're hitting, right, which is the golf ball, and we know it's constant, essentially it's just delta P, or the change in momentum, is equal to m times the change in velocity, right? So this is going to be the formula that we need to solve in order to solve this. So if we go ahead and do this, Delta P, or the change in momentum, is equal to the mass, which is 0 0.045. And then what's the change in velocity? So we know we're starting at rest, right? So the, the golf ball is going to start at rest, and then it's going to go to 45 meters per second. So how much is it changing? We can just do 45 minus 0. It's going to be 45, right? So it's going 45. That's the change in the velocity. So the change in velocity is 45. So the change in momentum, if you do this, 0 0.045, multiply that by 4, 5. Right, so plug that in your calculator. If you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 2.025. Right, I'm just going to round it to though, so just say 2. So 2, and then we measure momentum in kilograms, uh, kilogram meters per second. So you can just write it like that. So delta P is equal to point, or delta P equals 2 kilogram meters per second. So this right here is your answer to A. So that's going to be the impulse imparted on the golf ball. Now let's move to B. So B is asking for the average force exerted on the ball by the golf club. So you need to know that the force, right? So the force or the average force essentially is going to be equal to the change in P, the change in momentum over the change in time. So the change in momentum we just solved for. And then the change in time is going to be how long they're connected or they're in contact, which they tell us, right? They tell us it's 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. So essentially this one, we just have to plug in the numbers we got. So two, right? That's going to be the change of momentum. We divide that by the change in time, which is 3.5 times 10 to the minus three seconds. So if you go ahead and do this two, and then you divide it by 3.5 times 10 to the minus three, you're going to get that equals 571.43. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just round this to 580 right, because it's almost 580, and then I'm going to make it in scientific notation. So if I just move this over to, it's going to be 5.8 times 10 to the 2, and then keep in mind what we measure force in, it's measured in newtons when we're using uh, when we're using kilogram meters per second over time. So 5.8 times 10 to the second power, time, or newtons, right, so 5.8 times 10 to the 2 newtons. So this right here is going to be your answer to B.